Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Long Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. It is June 2020. Welcome. We've made it to June of 2020. So 2020 has been one hell of a year um, to say the least. I hope you all are doing well. I hope your health is uh, doing well. Uh, I hope uh, that everyone is being safe. Um, without further ado, let's talk about the state of the game, June of 2020. Uh, let's start off with a big obvious announcement uh, that happened here. Uh, big obvious announcement, Emerald Dragon posts uh, today at uh, you know 4.50 a.m. my time. Uh, Hello Dragon Champions, last week we rolled out a debatable update. Uh, that resulted in dramatic consequences. We'd like to do some explaining and make it clear sometimes any action, even controversial one, uh, can work differently than you expect. However, at that time, uh, we made a mistake. Um, really awesome that they just kind of owned up to making a mistake there. Uh, uh, taking instant loot fully away from free-to-play players was harsh and not nice. We want to apologize to you for that. Uh, community feedback and response is always important to us and the community driven team. We have always considered the players to be most important thing about the game. And they're absolutely right about that. All all the players are really, really important um, in the game from free to play all the way up to the Krakens. Um, everybody is very important. Uh, community feedback and response is always important uh, to them, uh, and they're truly grateful uh, for us, uh, the community in general, for reaching out and showing us where we took a wrong turn. Truly, this means a lot to us. We wouldn't be where we are today without you. Well, thank you for that. Um, today, we plan to tweak Instant Luke and make it a permanent uh, available feature to all players who are level 30 and above. Um, we ho truly hope that this will uh, let you continue uh, enjoying Dragon Champions and reaching new heights in it. Excellent. Well, very well said. Um, very well done. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Ticket, sim tickets, crisis averted. For real this time. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the important stuff in Dragon Champions right now. Um, uh, one less programming note before I do that. Uh, I did talk with uh, Liz, uh, Elizabeth today via text. Uh, we are going to have a sit down conversation uh, here soon. Uh, this weekend was just way too busy and too much going on to be able to have that interview today. So I'm going to bring you this video now and look forward to uh, that in the future. If you are new around here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, drop a comment down below. If you like the video at any time, hit that like button and let's move on to the importance of today because today june 1st is a very big day for dragon champions we are finally going to get a real leader for the elves and that will be thelana let's look over here at be a dragon champions uh, dot info uh, at thelana right she's got some great stuff going on here her health is twenty one thousand. her shields are uh 30,000, right? Physical damage is quite high, uh, one of the highest in the game. Her speed is really high, and her critical chance, her just her uh, native critical chance is 41%, almost, you know, is really high as well. Uh, let's look at her abilities if you're just not aware of them. Uh, Dirty Trick is does two, uh, 250 physical damage to an enemy and dazes that enemy for two turns. Shadow Strike um, deals 440 uh, percent physical damage to an enemy and inflicts healing block and applies buff immunity for two turns and then blade fury does 270 percent of physical damage to all enemies if all enemies receive damage inflicts an ability block on them for one turn hatred debuff in an enemy de increases their turn meter uh, uh, by 20 percent and an additional four percent for each debuffed uh Thelana applies this turn so uh, increases turn meter, increases her turn meter, I believe is what that's supposed to be. Um, and then increases, and then leadership ability here is increases the critical chance of all uh, allied elves by 30 and recovers 15% of their turn meter upon landing a critical hit and has 50% chance to restore one random ability. So very, very nice. Let's go ahead and click on over to the game. Let's take a look at her. She is a 145 unlock, so you can five star unlock her. Um, and I want to look at this passive ability, how it's written in game. So 
Uh, debuffing an enemy increases the turn uh, increases the turn meter by 20% an additional 4% for each debuff applied to Thalon in this turn. It's interesting how that's worded. Um, I think that the <laughs> I, I think what it means um, is debuffing an enemy increases the turn meter her turn meter by 20 percent and an additional four percent uh for each um or just debuffing in general um might do that we'll have to look at it um i sometimes some t how things are worded doesn't make a lot of sense um to me um and so just debuffing an enemy increases turn meter is it does it apply to her does it apply to the whole team it, it not really sure an additional four uh, percent that's a, it's really 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 kind of hmm i wonder so let's keep that in mind as well the event will go live all right and we will have a live event we'll be streaming that here tonight um live event uh today let's see if i can get to it here uh yes there we go all right live event today nine hours and 32 minutes from the time of this recording um looking forward to unlocking her you do need to unlock her with your goblins um, let's go ahead and take real quick look at my goblins this is the team that i am taking in general murdoch dr frank instructor gora major shot and adam quite a killer team um they may not be meta defining but let me tell you how they are really really good um especially in tower um hard tower they are allowing me to do things that i that i've not been able to do in hard tower i'm clearing hard tower i've got some gameplay in a video uh that i'm going to be working on so uh keep that in mind as well now that'll be coming up as a future programming note and you know kind of a guide on hard tower and kind of a showcase of the goblins as well uh so what else is going on our battle pass is live battle pass is live here uh so let's talk about the battle pass and the rewards in the battle pass certainly if you are free to play here's what you'll get if you complete the entire battle pass right you get 50 shards um 50 shards of kiri uh if 705 drag coins a million uh gold and 45 blue 65 green scrolls and then of course you're going to get your chaos sorcerers your uh everybody's your Erichar's wisdom uh base life essences 25 of them curse madnesses and a full overthrow which is super nice because you're going to need the overthrows um and we'll talk about that in a second and then of course you're going to get some health runes uh, 10 page boots and some guard boots that nobody really needs uh, i'm sure people need them uh, i've got 649 so all right so if you buy the battle pass uh ten dollars and ten dollars and 99 cents in the u.s uh, you're gonna get a hundred more shards if you complete the battle pass um obviously you're gonna get 2650 drag coins uh 2 million gold 120 more blue and green shards and then here's the real crazy value and great value here you're gonna get a full set full set of speed runes and a of four dot speed runes and a full set of three dot uh, power runes so uh really 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 good stuff and then of course when you get on in here right you're looking at you know another 25 overthrows a full piece of uh, full piece for hand of the primordial um you know demon mockeries some base life essences another half of base life essence another half of curse madness is so that's really really awesome um and of course 20 page boots and some of these smaller um things that you do need because they're not they're not just running around sometimes i end up having to farm them um especially these the conquerors battle axes so really good stuff inside um we're looking at the quest for this week right this one should be fairly straightforward for a lot of people uh just going through and just refreshing the tower um and getting through those 20 wins in a single tournament that could be hard for some people but i hope you you know hope you get through that deals critical damage uh to 500 enemies in tower arena and tournaments that one should be pretty easy old lore shards um you know pretty straightforward just kind of do your rage of clans um here you're gonna get blue scrolls anyway so you might as well be hitting those up speaking of which let's just go ahead and run a couple All right um and then raise your room level 480 times that's going to be a little that's a, that's a lot of gold it's a lot of gold 
um, depending on thing. And then defeat orcs in the arena tower. I think that one should be pretty straightforward for a lot of people as well. Uh, so pretty easy this week. Um, coming this week, I think that's going to be pretty easy. Let's go ahead and just take a look at Thelana real quick. Just kind of look at her art. Um, something else I've been kind of appreciating a good bit these days with the new art reworks and stuff. I think she looks pretty cool. Um, I like her eyes for sure. I think that, you know, she's got her daggers look pretty awesome. I think that she, you know, they'll probably do another probably update on her artwork. Make her give her more some more shine probably. Um, that would be my guess. Uh, I'm just guessing there. Awesome. So Kiri is going to be the character of the month. Um, if we have we just tons and tons of information here, um, tons and tons of information here. But if we have to look at Kiri, right, she's pretty cool looking. Um, she's going to be pretty amazing on paper. Deals 260 percent of physical damage to an enemy, a 50 percent chance to inflict a healing block for two turns. If the target is in, uh, afflicted by healing block, apply bleed for two turns. Pretty crazy. Um, and then crushing hurricane here, 240% of all physical damage to all enemies, um, recovers, uh, health by 50% of the damage dealt a 50% chance to decrease the enemy's turn meter by 15%. And if the enemy is inflicted by slow, it decrease the turn meter, uh, by two times more. This is another one of those issues times where I wish it would just say, uh, if inflicted by slow decrease turn meter by 30 percent uh that that would be a better way of putting that i think that would be easier to understand um gains taunt and increases uh increased armor uh you know it's a cool one one turn cooldown um so of course she's going to be hampered by zara and that sort of thing when you're on auto battle when you're having when you're on defense but other than that she has a first turn taunt which makes her really uh, viable in a lot of situations um, gains 10 percent turn meter for each living demon in the party and restores uh shields by 20 percent of her max health um so pretty freaking awesome and then of course her <laughs> passive ability um recovers 15 percent of turn meter upon taking damage and counter attacks restore uh 10 <laughs> percent of her shields yikes she's gonna be really really good so we've talked about Thelana and we talked about Kiri I want to talk about um you know gearing them just for a second so if we if you go over to be a dragon champions links in the description below uh, if you go over to be a dragon champions you can look and see what what they're coming out with and all the gear full list gear and this is all I do is I just click on the full list gear and it tells you all the full pieces of gear that you need um and you can start farming them this one's the big one the three overthrows that one's going to be a tough one dragon veil one hand of the primordial i think i may have talked about this before but just kind of go over it again and a judgment day um these these are not cheap um uh, this one right here the bay's life essence you know 2000 judgment days 2000 outcast shackles are a thousand overthrows are 1500 drag coins um, 1500 drag coins for the hand of the primordial and a dragon bill is a thousand drag coins so it's not wouldn't be cheap necessarily just to put her you know directly up um i do plan on doing that uh but it, you know not too bad um so that's always what you want to do is you want to look here check the gear list um before you know somebody puts out a video and that sort of stuff on how to gear them or what to gear they're right here the whole full gear list is right here on the website um shout out to Neth uh for having such a wonderful website we really do appreciate you taking on this uh, this uh new role so now let's look at the next one demons so we just go to demons here and here's all the different guys guys and gals and here's kiri all right has all the stats here off to the side um as you can see right kiri's gonna have it's going to be pretty pretty tanky um her physical damage is actually pretty decent considering she's a tank um and she's gonna have good potency and her speed is she's pretty slow but as for tanks go she's on the high end for speed let's look at the full gear list um full gear list here she's she takes a lot and the outcast shackles are really really necessary i mean there's a lot of them um you need four outcast shackles just by themselves and then you need at least you have three bays life essences here which means that essentially you have three more outcast shackles that you have to have so for a total of seven outcast shackles it's a lot um but you know she's gonna be worth it um uh knight's galt uh mind game 
um, you know, two mind games. These are a thousand drag coins apiece. Uh, the Dragon's Jaw. This one's a this one's a tough one, um, but it you know it's you can get it. Only one Curse Madness, one Dragon Claw. Um, it's the Outcast Shackles that are just huge. Um, if we go back and look on my account here, because I know she's going to need all these Outcast Shackles, I have just been saving up. Uh, that's that's kind of what you have to do to a certain extent if you're if you're looking to if you're looking to try to. Right, I have 152, which is not nearly enough. As you can see, I've got Count Delman here activated, um, up to year 10. Just looking for another uh, another uh, demonic mockery there uh, to get him fully going. So, a lot of really cool stuff. A lot, a lot, a lot of great information um, coming out in the game. I am super excited for the game. Uh, uh, I, I think the future of this game is very, very bright. Battlegrounds is really, really good. Uh, I'm, you know, the controversy was kind of fun to be perfectly honest for me. Um, you know, I enjoy, I kind of relish those moments uh, to be able to debate and have a good time. Um, no hard feelings to anybody I debated against. It's truly don't, I'm a lawyer. Keep that in mind. I like to debate. I like to take sides. You guys got my honest opinion. Uh, and that's what I promised to you every time is to give you my honest opinion on 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 everything i clicked the wrong button there so i was clearly trying to put that on uh more doom but oh well uh so really really good stuff i think that uh we're we're all going to i think benefit greatly from the game going forward i eh, i'm glad that we're this ticket crisis is averted um i'm glad that we can you know get past it i really am uh, but i did enjoy the debates i did enjoy engaging with the community the live streams uh the let's talks that we did with the with zeri and with carnifax from nerd this very awesome i really did enjoy that i hope you guys enjoyed them too because i will be bringing i think more content like that to the community i think that it's kind of fun um certainly if you have things you want me to talk about or take positions on i'm not terribly great about going through the forums as we all know um that is not really something i spend a lot of time doing but certainly if you want to draw my attention to something i'd be more than happy to look at it um and see what i can do i'm not may not always be the the person to champion certain causes but you might be surprised um some things some things i you'd be surprised about um just just for example uh, if we were to talk briefly about, you know, monetizing certain other aspects of the game, um, like if they were to paywall, um, if they were to paywall stuff like the character lists, like how to, um, you know, character selects and that sort of stuff, if it costs like a dollar or two to do those completely, like at this, you know, I probably would have just not purchased them because um, it's not a quality of life thing that I'd want. And I don't think it's necessarily something that should be per that should be uh, monetized. However, if they were to monetize something like Battlegrounds, that wouldn't bother me. So it, you kind of kind of keep in mind that there are certain things that I'm OK with paying for. And there are certain things that I'm not OK with paying for um, in the grand scheme of things. So. With all that being said, I really do appreciate everybody uh, for being here. Let me go ahead and run one more battle. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, drop them down below. Uh, you want to tell me how I screwed up, how I'm so wrong on the ticket thing? Uh, feel free to do so. You won't get any replies from me anymore. We're done with tickets, done with auto battles. Um, I really do, though, appreciate uh all of your guys' support uh going through uh this uh, this tough time of 2020 uh, i really do appreciate it and if you guys have anything you want to bring to my attention please feel free to do so um with all that being said i do appreciate you guys greatly i'm going to play through this last little battle here in my tournament so give you guys a little bit of gameplay on what's going on with the tournament here um just kind of talk you through my current team this is the um this is the tournament for runes which who, which name i cannot remember um as you can see i'm running i'm running uh adam which i have maxed out and then of course slinger um i'm gonna go ahead and put in good old uh <laughs> good old soleus why not um put in soleus and then 
uh, more doom in the background there. So a lot of really good, really good stuff going on. I expect to do pretty well in this tournament. Um, we'll see if someone has a better team than me. I'm sure there are plenty of better teams. I get beat all the time uh, by better teams. So that's what I'm currently doing uh, there. So I, yeah. I really do appreciate you guys um, greatly. I really do. I appreciate you guys coming and supporting the channel. I appreciate all the subs. I appreciate the comments. Even the negative ones, I think, are pretty fun um, for the most part. Uh, I find them I find them to be pretty hilarious. Um, yeah, some of them are great. Um, one of my one of my favorite people to get comments from is Dave. Uh, him and I, we've had, we've gone back and forth before and I, I respect that guy a ton. And that's just true for me in general. I will go back and forth with you. Uh, but at the end of the day, I, I respect you greatly. Um, and you're probably right <laughs> and I'm probably wrong. So just kind of keep that in mind. All right, everybody. Well, I do really do appreciate you once again, and I hope you have a wonderful week and a wonderful month of Dragon Champions. We've got some great content coming down the pike. Uh, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing, and we will see you next time. Wing Gaming and the Law Intersect.